guys and welcome back to my plan of perfection this is nikita and today i'm gonna be setting up april in my a6 stallergy and i've pulled a bunch of fun goodies so i thought um yeah let's share these with you and i'm hoping to use all of it but you know what i'm like sometimes i use it all sometimes i don't um i have gone ahead and pulled out these boxes scripts this little sticker and this bowl seal that i'm hoping to use um i've got some beautiful beautiful washi tape um so this is simply gilded and this is i think wish designs by the way guys please excuse my nails they're not dirty i promise um i've been um baking cakes it's my niece's birthday and i've just got food coloring all over my hands so my hands are clean i have scrubbed them but there's just food coloring a little well there's some food coloring ingrained in my nails it's my own fault for not wearing gloves <laughs> but yeah just fyi um i do have this um little calendar and it's free from the paper k facebook group it's a free printable um yeah i did have a little bit of an accident as you can see because the bottom sliced off a little bit but it's fine i've got these um blossom stickers from kimmy creates and you can save with my code which um oh my god i'm pulling a blank nikita 15 <laughs> i forgot then my own name um yeah i've got some date dots from i think this is an old wendy prints kit for my gratitude i have this cute little card i think you get these free with the is it the croc planner binders from paper shire i'm sure you get them in with those but i just thought it was really cute and i liked all the flowers i want i want a springy vibe as you'll see um, these i think i got in a grab bag or a goodie bag from wish designs they are the tiniest bit miscut but i'm gonna make it work you know i have my calendars from the grumpy tortoise you do um get these from the website it asks you to basically you have to make an account and you download them from there but they are free and these are the b6 with the well you can see the um two what do you call it the the month on two pages i was thinking then what's the right words um and i do print these at 85 percent and as you can see i'll cut them right down and hopefully they should fit in my a6 stallergy then last but not least i've got some lovely lovely vellum from josephine bowl designs and yeah i'm hoping to include that i do need to move because i'm pressed right up against my desk and there's something tickling my leg. <laughs> I'm, it's making my, me itch. I've just itched my leg. <laughs> yeah. Um, I'm wearing my shorts. So, yeah, there was just something. Yeah. <laughs> Probably a piece of paper or something sticking out. So, let's jump to my planner. Okay. So, what I can actually do as well is 29 today is the 30th 31st so i am gonna actually start april on the first which is quite exciting so this is gonna be my cover page and do you know what i've done that's basically march and i think it's all right guys there's just a couple of private things so i did a week on two days on a page I did two of them and then I've done one I'll have done like two and a half weeks as dailies which you know what I've loved doing and I'm going to probably carry on doing we shall see um okay so cover pages how do I want to do this um I normally put this on this side don't I yeah okay so i might i don't know how i want to do this i should have really come in and thought about this would it be really weird you know what i'm going to put my calendars down while i think about it 
So I've got my gratitude. Let's stick the calendars down. Let's do it a little bit different. Why not? Yeah, so as you can see, they're quite a nice little fit. But how is everyone? I hope you're all well. Um, here in the UK, by the time this video goes up, I think majority of the schools will have um, broken up for the Easter holidays. Um, I know that Lexi breaks up, I think, on the 31st. Does that look okay? Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, Lex breaks up on the 31st for a fortnight, so... Um, I'll probably end up having her for a sleepover or two. We normally do during the, um, like when she's off school. Like during the six weeks holiday, she usually has one sleepover a week with me, which I do enjoy. It's just nice to have some like time with her, isn't it? Well, yeah, I'm sure you all know if you've got... Um, kids or nieces and nephews, that kind of thing. Um, yeah, I'm just trying to keep this vellum down, but I don't know if it's helping the situation or not. I just liked how it looked. Do you know what I wish? Um, I just wish I could get like these kind of vellums in like really massive sheets, like enough to use as a background, so I could always change my background out if that makes sense. But I was in. B and M, and they've got like a pink marble type vinyl, like, and I thought that might make a really cute background. Um, yeah, and I keep thinking about it, so it's obviously stuck with me because I did think, like, um, you know. To, can I be bothered basically but I just thought like with the vinyl it'd just be easy to wipe down rather than using this um, wallpaper because I've had this roll of wallpaper for years and years <laughs> um, so it would be nice for a change I mean it's the background for like majority of like my Instagram photos and so I am thinking maybe let's change things up a little bit and I do think I want to go down like the pink pastel -y route. Um, yeah, so I do quite enjoy like pinks and pastels and stuff. So I just think that might be a little bit fun. Um, okay. You know what? I have a vinyl that I'm thinking of using. Do I want to use it though? What if? I just wish I'd have made these a little bit bigger now. I mean, I could do a washi dashboard. Um, hmm. I don't know what I want to do. That's a little bit annoying. You know what? This is really beautiful washi. So let's let's use it. What if we just kind of just pop some down? Oh, that's so pretty. Yeah, we'll plop some down and then just go with the flow. Because it is really nice, isn't it? I think I need to trim this side down a little bit. Um, what's everyone's, like, what things are everyone doing in their, like, journals and stuff? Because last year... I did um, an April showers theme and I kind of did the cherry blossom theme in March, which I kind of regretted just a little bit because 
<laughs> this sounds really silly. But in Animal Crossing, Cherry Blossom season is the basically the first week of April. And that's kind of what inspired my um, wanting to do like a cherry blossom theme. So that's really nice. I really like that. Yeah, so I kind of regretted doing it in March, but obviously I've saved it for April this year. And it's looking very, very cute. So I was like, I was trying to think of like themes that I could do. See, I'm debating as well. Maybe you guys could help. I'm think I know I'm thinking for May already. Um, but I'm going away in May, so I'm thinking of doing like a beach theme for my May setup. Um, but also because we've uh, we had. So basically, Paul surprised me um, a few months ago with a trip and he's booked the holiday to the Dominican, um, which, oh my God, dream holiday alert. Um, but for one reason, I need to cut this down a little bit. For one reason or another, um, I don't really want to go into it just yet. Um, but like, I'm, you, some of you guys, if you've watched my previous videos, you know there's a family member that's quite poorly. So I don't really want to be away for when the holiday was booked. So we've pushed that back a year. So, oh, which one do I want to do next? Let's do this one. <clears throat> so yeah, um, that would have like been my main holiday spread. Um, but obviously now I don't know what to do. <laughs> do I have, I normally do mermaid, um, so I still could do that. Um, but I'm not sure what I want to do. But yeah, um, he got a promotion at work and stuff. And so, um, he booked us that holiday as a surprise, which was amazing. Can anyone hear the dog snoring? So, um, yeah, um, I suppose it's not. So basically, I'm just going to tell the story now. It is my dad that's quite poorly at the moment. And um, it's not looking like he's going to get better. And so I'm looking after his dog. Um, and he's called Demon. He's a little, well, he's a little, he's a chunky chihuahua. Um, what have I done with that sticker? And so, he's kind of come to stay with me for a while. I'm going to put that up there like that. I quite like that. Um, yeah, he's here for who knows how long. Or, yeah. And do you know what? I love Demon. He's called Demon because he... If, if anyone's watched the film Snow Dogs, there's a dog in that film called Demon and he's kind of named after him. <laughs> um, oh. Am I going to cut this down? I think I kind of am. So. I think that's going to be about right. Yeah, so he's kind of named after that dog out the film. And well, that's just a little bit too long. And he has such an attitude problem, guys. And I've got, um, I think Americans call it a crate, like crate training and stuff. Um, but basically... I've got a cage next to me. Um, we call it cages. <laughs> well, do you know what? I don't know. But basically, long story short, Misty, my Chinese crested, she was basically brought up in a cage. Um, agree, disagree, um, that's completely up to you. 
Um, I'm not necessarily someone who will keep my dogs in the cage, but I have it um, because Misty, let's find my scissors. Basically, Misty, it was like her safety place. Um, so we kept the cage because of that. Um, and obviously she's passed on, but the cage like has kind of stuck around as like, it's basically somewhere for the dogs to go when they want to be left alone. You know, like give them some me time kind of thing. And my desk is right next to it. And so he's been following me everywhere he goes because he's like 15 years old. My dad's had him since he was like six months old. And like if my dad's gone on holiday or he's needed a dog sitter or anything like that, well, like I've always been the one to have Demon. And as my dad <laughs> said to me the other day, that Demon is his most prized possession <laughs> and he's interested in me to look after him. Um, so, yeah, basically, I've got a visitor for the foreseeable future. Um, but, eh, how do I say this nicely? Demon is a bit... Um, it's a bit of a knob. <laughs> it's just, yeah, attitude problem, you name it. And he is a male dog. I've got two bitches. And funny story, but I've got one of his daughters, Daphne. Um, he's been done and stuff. Um, but, of course, my dogs have decided to come in season. So, obviously, we've took all the precautions with that. Um, yeah, let's do that like that. So, um, like, they can't get each other pregnant. Well, demon can't get them pregnant or anything like that. Like, you know. But because of the scent, he has decided to start peeing up everything. The second I walk out of room, he's peeing up something, which I'm not having. <laughs> it's just not happening. So... I'm going to get some tape. Um, yeah, I'm not having it, so I'm going to have to. Where's my transfer tape? I know I've got a little piece in here. I saw it earlier. Is that it? Yeah. Yeah, no. Yeah. Yeah, so he's going to have to... Um, well, basically, I'm getting some, is it like the male dog nappy type things? Um, Just for now, because I'm not letting him go around peeing up everything. Um, and it doesn't matter how many times you take him out or anything like that. He's just being an absolute tool. So... Um, yeah, <laughs> I'm not having it, guys. I'm just not having it. Oh, come on, why aren't you coming up? There we go. So I was thinking of maybe one here, like that. It has pulled a little bit, I'm sure you can see. Can you see that? A little bit of the ink up, but you can't tell. That looks very cute. And let's get the other one now. But yeah, um, so we are now a household of three dogs. A very, very grumpy 15-year-old boy. His... <laughs> Do you know what? Paul takes the mickey because he says, I cannot have a normal dog. Because you got Phoebe, who... Ooh, this is going to be so pretty. Phoebe, who just has pure jealousy issues, guys. I'm not even going to lie. If one of the other dogs comes near, like, comes near me, she's not happy. And then you've got Daphne, who... Nobody's home-like situation. But she's so cute. And it's so funny because we joke that Daphne is the one like that's nobody home. 
but she's like the one in charge out of the dogs it's quite funny um but yeah she she's like pretty much blind um i'm thinking of dotting some of these stickers around so let's get some tweezers yeah um she's kind of like blind in let's just do that like that um she yeah she's blind blind fully blind in like one eye that decided where it was going and she is pretty much blind in her other eye like she can still see just not great that's cute i like that i wish this page wasn't doing the weird thing but it's because i put the washi down wrong obviously there's definitely been a bit of a theme with paper shire though um which i'm not mad at have we had paper shire on other months no coffee monsters call oh that reminds me so do you know what I've, I've, this is my i think this is maybe oh it's a close it's maybe a joint first favorite for me um so let's do my gratitude um where are my date dots do you know what let's do washi first um hmm i'm gonna go with What have I done with my date dots? Because I want to look at them to see which colour is going to go best. Hmm. Kind of go with this one best, but I didn't want to use that one. Hmm. You know what? I'm going to do the small bowls and the cherry blossoms i think that's what i'm gonna do yeah so um i kind of made a grown-up decision i suppose today um so the coffee monsters call subscription um i literally um i had a comment i think it was kerry i just saw the comment i've not replied or anything yet but like um I've been like watching the subscription openings and stuff and guys I know I had a little bit of a rant in the unboxing um and this isn't going to be a full-on rant or anything like that but I just think it's really unfair for the people that aren't buying direct from the coffee monsters call um because I've I've come to realize that there was two vinyls that wasn't in the box the really the that was what I what I really wanted and the journal cards and I don't know I just think that I think it's a little bit bad taste if I'm honest that if you're gonna do a subscription box where everyone is pretty much well no because we probably end up paying a little bit more with being international and stuff I'm not saying that like the coffee monsters Carl gets the profit or anything like that um, and now that that gets eaten up with the shipping and all that kind of stuff. And obviously, the I don't know how it works with profit with the UK suppliers and stuff. I'm not 100%. But obviously, they need to make a profit. And rightly so, like most definitely. Um, but it's just kind of annoying that there's these like... Um, perks for basically being in the same country as the shop or buying from the shop does that make any kind of sense but yeah so there was two vinyls that i didn't get because they were exclusive and i didn't get the journal cards either and so that's now four items and it's 45 pound like for the pen pal subscription and fair play it is only quarterly so in that respect it's a lot cheaper than um like you know more subscriptions because like for instance simply gilded i think that's like 30 dollars a month but that is every month 
Um, but yeah, I was just kind of looking today at like Simply Gilded and at the Coffee Monsters Carl and guys, I think for my personal preference, I prefer to get the Simply Gilded. I'm not sure if I'm gonna. Um, I have seen that there's like some kind of mermaid thing going on and I've seen a galaxy thing and I'm kind of like, is this a subscription? Is it a release? I kind of probably need to look into it more. But yeah, I just, I didn't feel the love that I wanted to feel when I opened the box. And I think that the, the missing items or they're not missing, are they? But the items that were included in other boxes and not my box was just yeah it wasn't the, the vibe that i was what <laughs> that i was wanting so oh i don't think i'm gonna get the bows on this page am i that's okay though um yeah so that's not gonna be um something i'm gonna carry on with so i have cancelled it um i don't think i'll get the next quarters um I don't know what the ins and outs are. Uh, but I was kind of looking at the theme and it's like a stationary theme. And then like, I think there's like a witchy vibe for the, um, the sticker part of it. And yeah, I mean, it's just not, it's not something I'm really, really wanting. Like I'm just, at the moment, I'm just really into like my pastels and like, yeah that could change but for, for now um i'm just not gonna spend my money on something that doesn't bring me complete and not a joy especially at 45 pound and uh, i don't want to spend 45 pound on something and be disappointed i'd rather go and spend 30 days in April. Yeah, I'd just rather spend £45 on something that I'm really excited about and, yeah, all that kind of stuff. So that was my little rant while I put my date dots down. I usually cut this part out, but apparently I've got too much to say today. And I'm now looking and I've been talking for half an hour, so <laughs> that's a long time, right? Okay, so let's get... I need to make or get some gratitude stickers like gratitude script so i could use that pen right there couldn't i what a silly sausage where do i want to stick this i might just stick it in like the corner Just because I hate writing right here anyway. But that's really cute. I am gonna just use a tiny, tiny bit of deco. I think I'm gonna use this sheet. I'm going to use some of these little purple bits too. That'll do. That's cute. So. I need to stick this bit down. It's doing my head in a little bit. Where have I put my scissors? I lost those now. Oops. I'm just going to cut some off with my blade there. With my double sided tape. I suppose I could have used a sticker to stick it down. That would have probably made more sense in all honesty. Um, but there we go. But yeah. So do you know what guys? Um. If you can recommend, like, a subscription box that 
I love like getting sticker kits, sticker seals, like so maybe something like with Simply Gilded vibes. Um, that would be quite fun. But like I'm really into like celestial and pastels and obviously mermaids. If you've been watching me, you know mermaids are always my first choice. <laughs> Um, I fell down the TikTok rabbit hole today of our mermaid reel. <laughs> you know, all these so-called sightings that you see, and it's just all a bit cringe. <laughs> but I like to read them because I like to think that maybe something like that could exist. Um... Do I think we'll ever find that? Highly doubt it. But as Paul says, I'm a romantic. Like with things like that, I just like to believe in the fairy tales, and you know. And there's absolutely nothing wrong with that. So that's very beautiful. I do love that. That washing is lovely. And I think I'm going to go in with the bows at the bottom. I just want to use my washi types, you know. Did I say these are from the Grumpy Tortoise, these calendars? I think I did. Definitely my favourite calendars to use. I keep meaning to go and have a look at the shop. I've not really looked since it reopened. And I do keep meaning to do that. So I think this is going to be my mood tracker. So. I'm just going to pop. Do I want to do washi? I want to do washi. And then let's do a little piece here too. But yeah, it's Lexi's party on Sunday the 2nd. So, there's been so much baking and party planning and all the things. Um, if you've been out, actually, do you know what? I feel like all I'm doing is moaning. I'm so sorry. Um, that's just all my videos are now, is me moaning. Um, it's just right in mood tracker. Yeah, um, my sister asked me to pick up the paper plates and stuff for the party. And I was horrified. So... You used to be able to get, like, I don't know, say a pack of 100 paper plates. And it'd be a couple of quid. Um, and for 100 paper plates, cups and some cutlery and napkins, it was like over £30. And this was from, like, oh, was it Home Bargains? And I was like, I did not expect to spend that in here today. Like, I really didn't. <sighs> shocking. Absolutely shocking. That, like, that's just how it is now, I guess. I like that little, like, love heart tree. That's really cute. I think I'm going to do some stickers going up here. Just for these round ones, maybe. And then maybe these leaves. Oh, no. Oh, it's still a little bit stuck, that's why. Maybe if we do that like that, and we can maybe make it look okay. There we go. And then let's do you like that. And then a couple of these, just to kind of fill in the gap. That's cute, right? I don't think I'm going to put any there. That looks really pretty. 
and now on to my Instagram and YouTube. So, all I do is I just pop down like a dot or a sticker or just even a tick or a cross, you know, just to say that I've posted on some form of social media. It just kind of helps me keep track. So I'm not constantly in and out of my social media planner all the time. Because this one, I tend to have close to me, like, most of the day. So that's all that um, is. Like a quick glance. But yeah, what was I saying, guys? I've completely forgot. It's gone, I think. <laughs> Um, I'm going to go review at the bottom. Such a pretty, pretty washer. I feel like I use this, like, every year, like, around this time. Just because it's so perfect, isn't it? And this is where you realise I've put everything down really wonky. But that's okay. Have we trimmed you? Yeah. So, for the middle, let's do this one. really pretty I was talking to Lexi in the car the other day and like she she's obviously she's obsessed with pink and all that and she loves like all the cherry blossom trees and stuff and every time we saw one um she was like getting really excited in the car and stuff and I was telling her about um the festival in Japan and like oh, it just looks amazing doesn't it and I was telling her all about it and like she just looked at me so serious because obviously she doesn't understand and she was like Auntie Nick do you think we could go there today <laughs> and I was like Lexi if I thought we could get there in time and get back I would seriously take you um but yeah she's like no, she's obsessed with looking and wants to go to Japan. And I'm not mad at that because I want to go there too. I don't think that one's going to go how I want it to. So let's put a different one down. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but she wants to go to Japan. So, um, I mean, I'm not mad at that because I want to go as well. Um... But yeah, she's very excited now. I think she's just as like obsessed with me, with me as me, as obsessed as me about the um, festival and stuff. Hmm, that's not really going, is it? Let's just stick you there then. Pop a couple of these in, maybe. But yeah, she's like so excited about it and like now that's what she talks to me about and it's just the cutest little thing um so all i'm gonna do is put instagram like that youtube here and maybe just write YouTube and um, just so I know. <laughs> that looks really, really pretty. Oops. No, I've got my bow seal. Where would I like? I want to put it on here. Or do I want to put it here? Hmm. I'm going to put it here. Oops. That's cute. I like that a lot. So let's zoom you guys in. 
So obviously this is my cover page and I think it's adorable. Do you know what? I wasn't sure how I'd feel about the like the teal, but I think it really goes nicely. And I love that. And then we've got my gratitude section and I just write something down every day that's made me smile or, you know. And then I've got my mood tracker and I just literally jot down my feelings. So if I've had a really crappy day, I'll just put crap, like, you know, felt rough, crappy. And if I've had something to devastate me, I'll just put devastated, like, happy. If I've had a good day, you know, that kind of thing. And then... We have my social media post tracker. And do you know what? Let's show you. So basically, that's all I did. Um, can you see those dot stickers? You can, can't you? And I think these are from Cute Stickers Only. I think they're part of my giveaway. And I should put a dot down for every time I post. So that's what I'll do here too. But yeah, guys, that's going to be it from me today. So thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you've enjoyed this video. And if you did, please give it a thumbs up. And it'd be absolutely amazing if you decided to subscribe. And I'll see you on the next one. Bye.